I'm Caitlin Patricia Weiler, Automotive Product Specialist and Host. And today I'm here in Yorba Linda, California at Fulmer Motorsports, where I'm going to get to tell you all about these amazing vehicles you see right here. Now before Camaros were the chosen vehicle of the International Race of Champions, also known as the IROC series, it was in 1974 when Roger Penske chose the Porsche 911 RSR as the vehicle of choice to introduce the IROC series to the world. Now you're probably all wondering, well, what's my personal connection to all this? Well, it was the IROC Z28 that introduced me to the automotive industry, <laughs> and the rest is history. Now let's take a look at these amazing vehicles. First, let's check out this 1968 Porsche 911 S. We have the classic yellow headlight treatment, the Porsche 911 R turn signal. Now, as I moved to the rear of the vehicle, what really stood out to me was this hand-painted pinstriping you see here. It's really beautiful and makes this vehicle really unique. We also have this sport muffler below, adding you know, to the nostalgia of this vehicle. And just like our front end, we have the 911 R tail light now, in addition to the lightweight magnesium wheels, this vehicle is equipped with other lightweight features like lightweight um, glass here, lightweight door panels, just to all make the performance of this vehicle top notch. Now, this vehicle right here that I'm gonna introduce to you next is a 911 RSR, but it is a tribute vehicle built for the incredible driver, George Fulmer. Actually, the owner asked his nephew, Bill, here at Fulmer Motorsports to make the vehicle as it sits today. Because 15-inch performance tires are no longer available, this vehicle you see here sits on 17-inch wheels. So this vehicle right here has all the classic characteristics as the first IROX. We have the wide body, that's front fascia, as well as the cooler. Deck. As this vehicle sits, it's just about as close as you're gonna get to be exactly as that authentic 911 RSR. This 911 SC is actually Bill Former's personal daily driver right now, and actually one of my real favorites. So let's take a closer look at this vehicle. This vehicle has a lot of modern updates, like the turbo tie rod, we've got Foxster brakes, and then since we're in the back of the vehicle, talk about a throwback. We've got the DuckTail, which totally reminded me of one of my favorite childhood shows, DuckTales. Hi, I'm Caitlin Patricia Weiler, your host, sitting here at Fulmer Motorsports with the one and only Bill Fulmer himself. So tell me, how many years have you been an automotive enthusiast? Since I was 15 years old. 15. And at 15, didn't you tell me your first car was a Porsche? My first car was a 1958 356A coupe. Nice. And my father and I completely restored. And you raced that car, right? And I did. I raced it and I conquered it. Nice. And I wrecked it. <laughs> so I did all of the above. Right. And uh, so he put me in his 67 911S. And I was at Willow Springs at 15 and a half driving that car. So pretty cool. Yeah. And now tell me from that time you remember to today, what was a highlight throughout your career in, in the industry itself? Well, we, we kept continuing and... My father was 
had the whatever the means the means to support my racing habit. Uh, we built a 914 for e-production Porsche race car that we took to the runoffs. Uh, we were uh, finished third in the championship here in Southern California, which is Cal Club. So then we moved into Super V's. I raced Super V's professional level for two years and then uh, went IMSA racing. And that worked out very well. I, uh, I got to do Daytona 24. Finished fifth in 1978 with Bill Alsup as my co-driver, who went along to become a Team Penske driver. Drove Indy cars for uh, Roger Penske, which is a pretty cool deal. Yeah, awesome. And then I got to continue on racing RSRs. So you became an enthusiast at 15, but five years later you're driving and racing an RSR? Come on, that's that's quite an opportunity, I would say. Well, it, it was, and it was an IMSA deal that I had for the full West Coast swing. Um, the owner was a great, great guy. I drove the car with him. He and I were very competitive. We were the same, almost the same pace, which was great when you're running endurance races. Um, but racing the RSR to me was just a natural evolution from the 911 S I drove. It's just, it's just natural. It's a 911, (laughs) just faster. Yes. And it was, uh, it was a great race car and they still are today. Absolutely. So, Bill, you've had so much success at a young age, You the RSRs. Uh, what what came next for you? Well, after the RSR, which was basically all IMSA racing, I uh, moved on and started doing vintage racing and just kept moving through vintage racing. And, and what was what was better about the vintage racing? Or what was the highlight about that kind of portion of your career? Well, it, at that time, it was it was a lot of fun. Pro racing is is very tough because the pressure is immense. Mm-hmm. You are under the gun all the time to perform. So you're a little bit more fun with vintage racing. Absolutely. And you go to beautiful places. Yes. You get and the parties too, right? You get to have the parties. wine and cheese parties. And the drinks. Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. So you've had success at a young age. You went through vintage racing. And now we're sitting here in your garage. You've had all these amazing projects under your belt. And so from today to the future, what can we expect from you? Well, my passion after I was done racing was to build cars. And I've always wanted to do it. And I was very fortunate to be able to build this IROC tribute car that you saw today. It's amazing. For a great owner and for my uncle who drove in the IROC. So I've always wanted to do it i got the chance and now here we are and it's going gangbusters as you can see around here right cheers to that thank you (laughs) so i think of your work as very exclusive if not one of the kind how do you see what you do or your work well the clients that i have i've been very fortunate to have and what we try to do here they're not just any clients right well no they aren't but any restoration shop doesn't just have any clients. Mm-hmm. But my situation is a little different. I do it here at this shop with myself and a few other guys. So we are building these cars basically all ourselves. We touch every single piece of it. The attention to detail is something that I am absolutely fanatic about. That's so important. Uh, everything has to be done perfect or we do it over. You heard that. You heard that from Bill himself. So, Bill, now I've seen so many of his completed major products. Now, there must be a lot of research and time that goes into producing such a detailed and perfect vehicle that you seem to produce. So tell us what that's like. Well, like with the IROC tribute car, obviously we were trying to build as close to the real thing as we could. Mm -hmm. But it's a street car. It's a tribute. So a lot of things, we had a lot of liberties to make it the way we wanted to. In other words, the car has a sunroof in it. The owner lives at the beach. He likes to drive it. That's what it's for. Um, The research, though, to go through to build that car or any of these cars, like this green 1979 11S, it's hours and hours and hours of through all the factory archives, anything that you can find of what is supposed to be on these cars to reproduce them. 
So Bill, tell me, how has the, uh, the owner of this vehicle now used it? Has he made you proud? <laughs> yes, he has. And the owners have been very happy. We Good. took the car to Monterey for Car Week. And we won, the very first show we showed was in Carmel on the Boulevard, which was called Prancing Ponies. It was a woman's owned car show. And Troy's wife is an owner of this car, obviously. And we won that. That nice. started our week. Then we went to the Works Reunion, which is the largest Porsche show on the West Coast. Um, there was like 35 or 37 entries just in our class alone and probably five or 600 cars there. Wow. All Porsches. After a long day of judging, we ended up winning it. First overall, which nice, was... Nice, nice. Cheers to that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> then the car... Um, has been to a couple of other shows that it has won. In all, it's won five awards, all first places. In the interim of that, the owners have taken it on the Target California, which is a 1,200 mile rally up and down the coast of California at high speeds. And, and they enjoy it. They are keep driving it and showing it, and they love this car. So you're happy with that? I am very happy. I hope you guys all had as much fun as I did here in Bill's garage. To keep up on all the latest and greatest that we're going to be posting, make sure you follow us here and stay tuned until next time.